Hi everybody, Ken Pond from Craft and Sprout, and I want to do a quick little interior tour of our 12 foot long by six and a half foot wide caravan wagon that we built, or Vardo for some of those. Um, great, great project. So here we are at the back of the, the caboose end of the wagon with our Dutch door that we did. So come on inside and let's take a look. So a lot of room in a little package and a lot of different features, so we'll get right to it. Um, we'll start here, and you can kind of see with the filming that it's, uh, it's tough to get a, a you know, grasp of how big this is, but this is a good size. I'm 6'5", we have 7 foot here, and my wingspan, look, I'm not touching anything. So it's a little, little space, but it is packed with a lot of stuff. Starting in the back here, okay? Probably will do our best to get a view of this. This is a cedar closet for hanging clothes and full storage, right? This is where our water heater lives. Nice cedar on the back, so it smells great every time you open up this door here. Propane fired on demand uh, water system. On the other side over here, check this out, ready? This is, this is cool, guys. Ah, full stand up shower. I'll come in here so Tori can get a view. La, 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 full stand-up shower. Ready? Watch. And it goes away. This also doubles as our bathroom, and we'll get to that in a minute. But while you're in here, we have a full window in here, aluminum uh, surround, waterproof toilet paper holder, and then a 24 by 36 inch shower pan in here. But nice fully enclosed, right? You won't have your boots on while you're taking a shower, obviously. As we come in, uh, we'll do ceiling first. We have a max, fair, max air uh, fan, which can exhaust or suck air in to keep nice fresh air going in here. We have a Dometic rooftop mounted air conditioning unit uh, with a built-in heat strip that we did. We have, as we get in further, our full kitchen area. So come on in and check this out. Ready? Two burner, Dometic propane fired cooktop. One of the coolest sinks that Dometic makes. Boom, up it goes. And then when you're not using this stuff, like let's say you just want to lay out some food, you can close everything down, and boom, you actually can use that as extra counter space. Very cool backsplash that we did in here. More cabinet storage, right? Full cabinet. Very cool hardware, electric stuff and everything. All right, so we'll come down here. Check this out, ready? So we've got a little extra storage here where your sink is, paper towels, things like that. Dometic fridge, now this is great, right? So it's two separate compartments. This can be fridge, fridge, freezer, freezer, or fridge, freezer, depending on how you program it. Now, it's a high-end uh, RV refrigerator freezer, 12 volts, right? Everything in here is 12 volts. Another cabinet here, full extension slides, a lot more storage. All right, and then over here, everybody says, where is your bathroom? Check this out. This is a rechargeable toilet by a company called Dry Flush. It essentially has 15 flushes in each cartridge. You take the toilet, you set the toilet in our shower, you close our door for privacy, waterproof toilet paper holder, use the potty, take it. It only weighs about, about 15 pounds. Stores back in here. This way you always have a toilet, even if it's just for emergency purposes or in the middle of the night, whatever it be, it's rechargeable, 15 flushes, you swap out the cartridge and you start over again. Nice and easy. This one here we picked very kind of neutral blue, marble countertops that we did out of a marble for mica. We've got LED lighting across the top. We've got our little LED puck lights that are all 12 volt running throughout the thing. Uh, a lot of windows all the way around. All four of the windows here all open up and we have uh, magnetic screens that go in. 
they all then also have a, um, it's a Reflectix in the sandwich, kind of. So Reflectix is an insulation. It's a blackout material, Reflectix insulation, and then a decorative material that Tori picked out that's kind of a, uh, kind of like a khaki looking, potato sack looking material, the best way I can describe it. I'm not sure what you call it, but it's, it, she knows all about that. But it looks very nice. I just install the stuff, I don't build it. Um, but it looks very nice and it really makes it in here in the daytime, in the sun, you need a flashlight in here. That's how dark this stuff is. Nice uh, surround here, right? So this, we can easily seat six people in here, easily. Um, we did these custom cushions. The back cushions here, these guys, this one and the one on that side, you take the table, which is on a pedestal, right? Comes right out like this, right? blah, blah, blah. And what you'll do is you take the table out. There's cleats here that the table will turn this way. Sit down in the cleats. These back cushions come off, go into it, and we have a full uh, queen-size bed set up here. So a lot of room for sleeping. So it's really comfortable for a bunch of kids, a couple of adults, and one child, you know, depending on what your setup is. But uh, it ends up being a full queen-size bed. But, I mean, look at the glass here. This is too much. Like, look at the view. You can imagine, right, being backed up to a lake and waking up and looking outside and seeing this. So it's a very comfortable setup. Rigid insulation, seven feet tall inside. We're 12 feet long, six and a half feet wide with a nice flare on it. Uh, heating, air conditioning, cooking, water, toilet, everything you need in this little tiny package that's towable by any SUV. We're about we're just under 3,000 pounds for the entire package. So it's a it's a great setup. So remember to follow us on Instagram under Craft and Sprout. Check out our Facebook page, Craft and Sprout. Contact us www.craftandsprout.com, and uh, and we'll see you around. But this is our uh, this is our wagon. All right, thanks, guys.